Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching people attempt to go pastel, and if you know anything about pastel hair, it is one of the hardest things to accomplish on your own because you have to make your hair so, so bright white in order to then put a pastel semi-permanent color over it if you want it to look amazing and perfect. So let's see if people can pull this extremely difficult task off on their own at home. Probably not. Up first, we have a video by Felicity Harrell. This is my natural color. Like, it is dyed, but to match my natural roots. Okay, we're starting off with colored brown hair. I'm assuming box dye. Her trying to go pastel with a brown box dye color on top of her already existing hair color. Bagoo girl. <laughs> Good luck. We're gonna be dyeing my hair today. Blue. <laughs> a blue pastel box color. Those are the box colors that make me the most nervous because it's just not that easy. You know, you can't just put a box on your head and then just poof, it's it's blue. How in the world do we think that's gonna work out? If you saw my video before where I did pink under my hair, we're doing that again, but pastel blue. Oh! She's just doing the perimeter of her hair. That could happen. I think that's a good idea. My hair is really greasy at the moment. If your hair's greasy when you dye it, it holds the color and it takes to my hair a lot better. It is optimal to have clean hair when you're doing a single process color, which means like if you're going darker, right? With permanent color. But if you're bleaching your hair, I would not recommend to wash your hair at least a few days before because it will burn the sh out of your scalp if you do not have those oils to protect it. But it's not gonna affect the result of the color if it's greasy versus clean. So I've sectioned it out. Um, I'm gonna start with the middle. Okay, so she has sectioned out the perimeter of her hair. She is starting at the bottom. <laughs> start it from the bottom, now we're here. That is the way I like it. That way you can layer the color over itself as you work up the head. Then goes the ends, then goes the roots. But I might do my whole hair first because of the dye, to then go over the roots because the roots are gonna take a lot easier. You're welcome world for um, teaching everybody to not start with the roots. It'll always be something that I cherish, that I changed. It was me, and if you say it's not, it wasn't f me, you're a liar and a thief. It's probably well patchy. You got a little bit on the root that you weren't trying to get it on, but it was, it looks fine. Also, you didn't let the ends and the mids process before you then went on the roots. That is the issue that I'm seeing right now that everybody does. You gotta let the mids and ends process. You gotta let that go and then you can do the roots. Needs to develop for the 15, 20 minutes. I can tell you right now that's not enough time. Why would they even recommend that? That doesn't even make any sense. Who made that? Who did that? 15 and 20, girl, try 30, 45 to an hour. I'm gonna leave it for 15. She literally just wiped all of that color off of her roots. Can we get a replay of that? Like, girl, don't do that. But like the, re the ends have lifted already, which is what they did last time. The ends are definitely gonna lift faster actually in her case because she had blonde underneath of that brown color. So it's just removing the top layer of that color and underneath it is already blonde. So it's gonna lift quick and her roots might be like a little bit more difficult. She might be fine here. It's time to wash it out. It is very patchy. Oh no, it is so if you want to work on small sections at a time, which you should, you can actually use like a comb if you really need to. If you're not going to be precise with your application, you can use a comb when you're bleaching to make sure everything is fully saturated. The brown is still there, but I'm hoping that overall it's not going to be that bad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, totally. It's very, 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 very patchy. As in, I've got stripes of brown, orange, yellow, blonde. Actually got like a, like literally an icy blonde on my ends. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna, I've got the blue, sh I thought it was purple shampoo. But it's Here we go with the purple shampoo. It doesn't solve all of our problems, but we are always going to think it does. And that is one thing I cannot change the minds about. <laughs> what it is, but I seem to always get a line that just oddly never, I just get a line that goes down here. And I thought it was from before, like where I've dyed my hair before and then my natural roots have grown out. <laughs> yeah, girl. <clears throat> Looks, it's, it's definitely a look. 
I'm going to go over my hair again, but I'm going to go over only like the really bright parts. I'm not going to go over my roots again. I hope she meant to say the really dark parts, not the really light parts, because let's not go over the really light parts again, because we don't need that. Here is like a really icy blonde, like the underneath bits of my hair took really well, which they always do. She definitely needs to color the dark spots, then the middle darkest, then the second darkest, and let everything process for a good amount of time, like 30, 45 minutes to get a more even canvas. In this salon, we would definitely do foils in this case, but you know, she's not gonna do that. So I'm not gonna, gonna recommend it. I'm not surprised that this didn't work because I have so many different colors, like undertones in my hair at the moment. It's still brown. It's exactly the same. I only left the bleach for 10 minutes. So maybe that's where I went wrong. But also I feel like it's also because I didn't, like I just bleached it. And so it needed time maybe. I not really find the right answer that I want about putting blue hair dye on top of orange hair. It just said that blue cancels out orange and it will turn it more blonde. Nari, it will not turn it more blonde. It'll just neutralize it. That's more the word. It doesn't make it more blonde. It just makes it more brown. What are we going in with? Don't tell me this is the part where we do the semi-permanent color because your hair is orange, babes, and it needs to be blonde. It says to leave it for two to 15 minutes. Um, I'm gonna leave it for maybe 20. Green. <laughs> Um, like it's so patchy. What happens when you put yellow and blue together, guys? You get green. It looks really tragic. I'm sorry, I can't even, I can't even, it's tragic. Part two, we're doing it again. It didn't come out the way that I like. Okay, so she ends up hating it and doing it again. Doing more gray on top of the gray, because why not, right? <laughs> Okay, once again, it did not work. You can see it, it is a lot better, but it is still really, really patchy. Actually looks better on camera. What did we think doing the same thing again was gonna do? You need to go darker gray, like slate gray, really dark gray, or you need to lighten your hair again with bleach. It's patchy like here, and then there's like patches where it just didn't take. This is the bit that I saw didn't take, but that part is really annoying. I'm just gonna chuck it in a bun. <laughs> Like it does look light green, but overall it's not that bad. I don't know what it looks like from the back. I feel like the back is really vibrant, but yeah, so that's all the colors of the rainbow in my hair at the moment, guys. Yeah, like you can see how patchy it is, look. Oh my days, that is god awful, bloody hell. Okay, well, um, babes. I think that you should not use gray hair color again. That's my review for you. Maybe go back brown or bleach your hair again, but don't tell anybody I told you to do it because I don't want your hair to fall off. <laughs> Up next, we have a video by I Am Mara. We're going to dye my hair. I've had red hair for quite a while now and I want to get rid of it. And I was looking into having pastel blue or pastel lilac. As you can see, my hair is really red, not as red how it was before. So we're trying to go from the warmest of warm colors to the coolest of cool colors at home by yourself okay yeah sure 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 Sure. This hair color remover is bleach based. So you can either use six volume and you will have one to two levels of lift or you mix it with 10 volume and you get two to three levels of lift. Ultimately, I think this is a great idea for her to use a color remover. I'm trying to go from red to blue or to gray. You're gonna need to start with a clean slate and get rid of those color molecules that are built in there. Okay, so first of all, it is super duper important that you brush your hair so there are no knots in it or anything. Then I like to section off my hair. I think sectioning off makes it first of all a lot more easy and second it also makes sure that you apply the color evenly on the hair she said it she did it because this is bleach based and we all know after watching bread mondo over and over again that bleach doesn't leather i really make sure that i work it into my hair and that every hair gets some hair color remover on it yes you're a real one. What I want to make sure is that I start where I have the most color, where it needs to yeah, stay on my hair the longest time. This is what enough color mover on your hair looks like. That is a great amount. Also, obviously, to make sure that the red gets removed from my ends as well. But because they were a lot lighter than the rest of my hair, I didn't apply the hair color mover straight onto my ends. I started where it was the most vibrant, if that makes sense. Okay, love the tinfoil look. Vibing with it. Gotta do that incubation, baby. Get that heat in there. 
I'm a blondie. Okay, listen, it did a good job at lifting the color out. I mean, that's much better than what she started with. And now if she lightens it again, she's gonna get even clearer results and clearer results. And I think it was a great idea. It's still orange. This is why I have to bleach my hair now. So I used the Blonde Me um, Schwarzkopf bleach and I mix it with 25 volume developer. Okay, so powder lightener and 25 volume. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I don't know if it's powerful enough. I would have preferred her to use 30 volume. Done it in four quadrants. Rinse it out as they all develop evenly and work from there, but this could work. And I did exactly the same what I've done with a hair color mover. I started on the areas that were the most red or the most orange, and then I actually also didn't apply any bleach to my ends. But I made sure that my hair was coated in bleach. But I'm so happy she's applying enough color! And she let it sit for 45 minutes! Wow. So that's the outcome, super duper yellow, but it was actually able to remove all the reds. Like I said, I didn't use any bleach on my ends because I thought they were light enough. She's getting such an even result though. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, you're killing it. Next step was um, applying a root collar. I didn't want um, to have a blue all over my head. I wanted to have a shadow root, so a darker root on the top. Wait, we have to bleach it again. Vibes. We can't apply like a gray or a blue or anything on top of orange. It'll just turn like green or brown and it's not gonna be great. So I applied the number 6.1 from Colorstone. What I would definitely recommend if you want a shadow root after every um, strand you actually comb your hair. Don't do that. You'll get spotting. I wouldn't recommend applying a shadow root horizontally like that. I would apply it vertically. You'll get a more diffused look instead of a line going across your head. So I left on the collar for I think 20 minutes, 25 minutes approximately. It is quite dark but it will turn out really really good in the end. The root looks great! Here is where everything turned out bad. So I used three different colors. I think one is called Slate, one is called Lilac and the one from Manic Panic is Ultraviolet. I mixed all three of them together and diluted them with a hair conditioner as well as a hair mask. I thought oh, it's a really nice treatment. Wow, that was a lot of things you mixed together, girl. Gray is very blue-based and you're putting it over yellow and you're probably gonna see a lot of green. Let's just go in with a semi-permanent hair dye instead of a proper hair dye and I left the color on for one hour. It doesn't show off as green on camera. No! You were doing so good until that last step, what the hell? Getting rid of green hair is probably the most difficult thing to do. It's, it's tough. It's tough. Well, I have multiple options now. The first thing I could do is I could dye over this with just some dark color and just go dark. I also don't want to bleach my hair again. I don't really want to do that. So my other thought, what my plan is now is using the hair color remover again. But if I mix it with like 10 volume and I leave it in for 20 minutes, I don't know, it shouldn't be too extreme compared to like proper bleaching it. Um, and I have to apply bleach to my ends because they are proper green, blue. Red Mondo, what should I do? What should I do? So yeah, in my head, I'm going to use the hair color remover to try to get rid of as much of this green as possible. How did this happen? Everything worked so great until I applied this purple, which then turned my hair green. You need to bleach your hair again. You need to get it nice and very pale blonde if you want to go a gray color. You just need to. You can't do it otherwise. Color remover is not going to do it for you. I hope your hair is better now. And I'm sorry that happened to you. Up next, we have a video by Pretty Pastel Side Quest. I'm going to try out lightening conditioner. And the bulk of what I'm using is this. This is a Tresemme Smooth and Silky Conditioner. And I'm hoping that just the one packet of this will be a nice pastel kind of corally color. That's exactly what you want to see in your food bowl. If I was a prank channel, I would mix some chicken in with this and uh, try and serve it to a friend. This is still looking very, very, very orange. Oh, whoa. Sorry, we just got into this really quickly and I'm very confused. Why are we putting blonde or lightening conditioner in with our semi-permanent color? Because you can't lighten your hair while you apply semi-permanent color. Like, that's just not how it works. It's gonna fuck with the dye molecules in the semi-permanent color. Very bad idea. Um, You gotta lighten first and then apply the semi-permanent color. The only thing you should mix with a semi-permanent color, if you're even going to mix something with it, is conditioner to lighten it. I think I might have to add a little bit of pink into this. So I'm gonna try and add in Bright Organics Pastel Pink. That's a great idea to add pink to orange. It just gives you like a little bit of more of a cooler orange and it's it's really beautiful. Ooh, it looks pretty. No matter how much conditioner I add to this, it doesn't get any more pastel. How much conditioner do I need to add? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. I have literally used the last drop of conditioner that is in this house. Oh, girl. <laughs> I've definitely gotten to these situations before where you just start mixing and you're like, this is not light enough. You start mixing more conditioner and more conditioner. And next time, what you gotta do is take the tiniest bit of your mixture that is too dark and put it in a new bowl and then mix conditioner with that and then leave the darker stuff over here. Because if you just keep adding conditioner, it takes so much to lighten a color. Don't do it like that. You'll waste so much conditioner. Conditioner, 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 conditioner. I have a single hair clip because that's all I can find. I have a comb and a brush and gloves. May not be the most professional setup, but this is the best it's ever gonna get on this channel. Okay, we are already blonde-ish. Like a dark, dirty blonde root, and then we got like the pink-ish ends going on. This could be fine because she is going a warmer color and she has a lot of warm already in her hair, so things could turn out even. What if I just do this without looking and just hope for the best? Don't do that. Don't just put the mirror down. It's just semi permanent color. You can just feel it on your hair. Stop using a brush, you guys. There's a reason I don't sell brushes with my color because you don't need it. It's just, it's just annoying. Gloves and that's it. Oh, yep, that got it. This feels like a math equation that doesn't need to be a math equation. Just put it on. Thank you. She's using her hands. You know, I'm sitting here trying to think of a name for this video, you know, a title. Should I call it, um, what happens when you put orange hair dye over pink hair? Or should I call it, girl commits multiple hair atrocities to piss off Brad Mondo? <laughs> that's the title. She did not end up going with that title, but that should have been the title. Atrocities. She applied so much of that pastel peachy orange and then I'm so happy about it. That was a good amount to apply. I'm all done. I'm in my 30 minute waiting period now, waiting for it all to set in. All right, let's see what we got. All right, well, here it is. I don't think that I would call it peach in some areas. Oh no. Girl, what happened? It's really orange where this little bit of bleached regrowth is here, but on the ends, it's still pink. So I don't know if the orange just didn't take or if because of the pink underneath, maybe the pink pigments were stronger than the orange pigments. The orange was just not orange enough. You diluted it very much too much. You needed it pretty dark because um, your hair was not that light to begin with. I'm starting to think that perhaps I wonder if I put the same product back over my hair, I wonder what will happen. Why do we think putting the same thing over your hair again is going to make a difference? Cause she's doing it. She's, she's going back in it again. Let's see it do absolutely nothing. Surprise, it's me from three months later. This is what my hair looked like and uh, it washed out very quickly after that. The color just didn't last. It didn't go orange. It just continued to look pink. It didn't work. That's all we need to know. And am I surprised? No. Next time do a much darker orange and do not add any pink in the formula because the pink is going to overpower that orange and it's going to really grab onto that pink and your hair was already pink in the first place. So you just end up seeing more and more pink. Just do copper next time because that way it'll last you a long time. Good luck next time. Well, those results were not ideal. But anyways, if you want to check out my hair color line or my hair care line, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.